guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a little mini book haul i went to books a million again i know i know i know i know i have a good excuse we had a blackout in nashville and we had to get out of the house it was ridiculous i went and bought some books <laughs> And I'm excited about it. So let's get into this little haul. Um, two of them are ones I had my eye on and the other two are ones that just caught my eye when I got there. And I'm super excited to read all of these. So the one at the top is Green Witch Park. This is a psychological thriller. I've been hearing about this all over TikTok and people seem to really, really like it. And it's not too big. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. Everybody loves this book. I'm so excited to read it. I love a good thriller. I love a good mystery. I love a good whodunit. I love a good can I trust them? Can you trust them? I love it all. So absolutely excited to read that. Um, and I just love the packaging. Y'all know I love me some plants. So I'm getting all into this greenery. Love that. And it's by Katherine Faulkner. Can you see her? Boom. So the next one might be a little controversial is by our girl coho so this is one i actually haven't heard anything about this um it was on the front of course because baby baby let me tell you something books of me and barnes and noble love them some coho that's their girl so she gets preferential treatment at the bookstores anyway so this is called Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. So what caught my eye about this is that it had an extra author on there. And I was like, there are no rules to writing. You can joint do a project. So I was like, let me check this out. And, um, the back sounded really, really good. I've never heard of Taryn Fisher before. So super excited to see what she's giving. And it says, never stop, never forget, just remember. It says, Charlie's Winwood and Silas Nash have been best friends since they could walk. They've been in love since the age of 14. But as of this morning, they are complete strangers. Their first kiss, their first fight, the moment they fell in love, every memory has vanished. Now Charlie and Silas must work together to uncover the truth about what happened to them and why. But the more they learn about the couple they used to be, the more they question why they were ever together to begin with. Forgetting is terrifying, but remembering might be worse. I love the idea of like people not knowing what is going on. It's like there's something happening, but I just, I'm not, what's happening? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love that idea. Sounds so stressful, but as a reader, I'm super excited to see like what is going on here. So I'm excited. It's kind of giving the same like length and stuff of, as like Verity and your standard coho book. So shouldn't be too hard of a read, but I'm excited. Let me know if you guys have heard about this book, seen it, read it. Let me this next one trigger warning because the case the the front is a little bit scary. It reminds you of like the purge. But this one is called The Gateway by Lamar Giles. This looks so freaking scary. I was a little bit scared. That's what caught my eye. I was like, what is that? I kind of need to read it. So it says timely, thrilling, and gripping from start to finish, an absolute page turner. The getaway. Um and then also there is a black person on the cover. So you already know, we looking, what's up? So it says my twin, oh wait, what's the thing? Okay, so it says Jay is living his best life at Karloff Country, one of the world's most famous resorts. He's got his family, his crew, and an incredible after school job at the property's main theme park. Life isn't so great for the rest of the world, but when people come here to vacation it is to get away from all of that as things outside get worse trouble starts seeping into Karloff. first jay's friend connie and her family disappear in the middle of the night and no one will talk about it then the richest and most powerful families start arriving only they aren't leaving unknown to the employees the resort has been selling shares in an end of the world oasis the best of the best at the end of days and in order to deliver the top-notch customer service the wealthy, wealthy clientele paid for, the employees will be at their total beck and call, whether they like it or not. Yet Karloff Country didn't count on Jay and his crew 
just how didn't count on Jay and his crew and just how far they'll go to find out the truth and save themselves. But what's more dangerous, the monster you know in your home or the unknown nightmare outside the walls. I am so freaking excited to read this. OMG, first of all, I love the cover. I love a good, oh, that's so cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of got the imprint on there. That is so cool. I just love hardback books with like paper um, coverings. Like, I don't know, they just make me happy. They do slip all and slip, slip and slide all over the place. I do put tape on them so that they don't. So I'm gonna do the same with this one, but this is a beautiful book and I am so excited to read this. So the final book that we have, <laughs> while we're here shout out to all my hufflepuff gang shout out to my big huff family you already know what time it is i'm rocking my hufflepuff necklace you see the h don't even play with her so i picked up snape a definitive oh snape the definitive analysis of hogwarts mysterious potions master every time i go into books a million this book looks me in my face and it's like are you gonna give me today are you gonna give me today are you gonna give me today and i'm like no i'm not gonna get you today i'm not gonna get you today i'm not gonna get you today and i was like i'm gonna get you today i can't leave the store again without you first of all i love the spine how sleek and gorgeous is this book just like snape all black sleek slaying and i just love the fact his name is just like snape just oh we love snape but yes i'm so excited to read this it is by Lori kim and it's just all about snape and just like a deep dive into him and how he thinks and what he does and his rationale behind things and i am so thrilled to read this book snape is of course one of everybody's favorite characters at least he should be i mean just how can you not love him he's amazing Alan Rickman, rest in peace. Uh, such a, just a golden person. Um, and y'all know I love me some Harry Potter. So I'm just super excited to read this. I'm going to have to pick a very special moment to just sit down and read this because it's a gorgeous book and it's pretty thick, pretty hefty. So really excited to get into this. It says, while the Harry Potter series may follow the journey of the boy who lived, if you want to know the whole story, keep your eyes fixed on Severus Snape. This greasy-haired, grumpy genius, one of J.K. Rowling's most enduring gifts to English literature, is the archetypal, ill-tempered teacher, demanding, acerbic, and impossible to ignore. Over the span of seven novels, Snape's remarkable role in the series can be hard to parse. Where do his true allegiances lie? Can a former Death Eater change his spots? Why does he seem to loathe the boy he's pledged to protect? Taking an analytical approach to Hogwarts' irascible protective potions professor author Lori kim presents a closer look at how dumbledore's double agent operates behind the scenes throughout the harry potter series by examining the story from snape's point of view this in-depth exploration pierces the defenses of the wizarding world's famous opnumens revealing the man for who he truly is one of pop culture's most memorable heroes yes he is and i will absolutely have to dedicate a whole video to this because i have just wanted to buy this book for so long and i love me some snape so super excited to also read that one and i know that one's going to be right on time so so those are all of the books that i picked up this weekend at books a million i hope you guys enjoyed this little haul um i normally won't come if i have more if i only have like one or two books i normally won't do like a haul um but if you guys still really like these book hauls then i'll come and do them i normally try to wait so i get at least three or more books and come and do a video for you guys so yeah let me know if you guys have read any of the books that i showed today let me know if you are excited for more book content follow me over on tiktok because that is where i post a lot more book content um i'll post it over there before i post it on youtube it's just a little bit easier to get over there um, to get it up over there and then also i have a book community already set on my tiktok and uh my youtube is just kind of like a mixture and i'm just kind of like slowly slowly introducing it to my youtube channel but on my tiktok i have book content and i have like a community of book talkers over there and we you know talk about books and all that good stuff so make sure you guys follow me over there if you want more book content and just follow me on tiktok in general if you want just more content from your girl i do post over there as well so thank you guys so much for joining me for another video i really hope you enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe like comment ring the bell notification button all of the things and i will see you guys in my next video bye